Hi, this is Mark with Rytron. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the different components and people that will be involved in connecting the radio to intercom bridge with an existing PA system and portable radio network. The radio to intercom bridge is a unique product which empowers authorized personnel with a portable handheld radio to make announcements over a public address or intercom system. It leverages the investment that most organizations have already made in a PA or wired intercom system and their network of portable radios and makes both more effective for the organization. In today's culture, creating an additional layer of security and efficiency for a campus or facility or organization is more important than ever. Most intercom or PA systems are accessed by a console or a fixed location station which is usually located in the main office. If access to that location is inconvenient, closed off, or compromised in any way due to weather, fire, or an intruder, then mass communications to the facility is likely lost as well. The radio to intercom bridge eliminates this weakness in the communication system by allowing authorized personnel to remain mobile and effective while communicating over the PA system with their portable walkie-talkies. In everyday management activities or an emergency, seconds count. The radio to intercom bridge shaves seconds off the ability to communicate information quickly and clearly. The radio to intercom bridge is a LAN mobile radio receiver, meaning that it receives voice messages that are transmitted from another authorized two-way radio. When a message is received from a transmitting radio, it is able to relay or bridge that message to the PA or intercom system by connecting with the PA system's amplifier. The radio to intercom bridge does this by connecting to the aux input or the hardwired PA amplifier through the 600 ohm mic input. Because the radio to intercom bridge is exactly that, a bridge, there are other pieces of information needed to make the connection. This information includes the make, model, and technology of the radios being used at the facility or campus. Technology is defined as analog, NXDN digital, or DMR digital. The frequency and related information the radios currently operate on, UHF or VHF. And the frequency and related information the radio to intercom bridge will be operating on the make and model of the PA amplifier that's connected to the PA, and the location of the PA amplifier in the building or facility is also important. There are also multiple people who will likely be involved either directly or indirectly in connecting or integrating the programming of the radio to intercom bridge to the existing PA system and radio network. These people include the school campus or administration or facility manager, the reseller who services or sold the radios to the school or hospital. The reseller who services or sold the PA or intercom system. And possibly the IT personnel at the campus. And of course, the Rytron team. Depending on your role in this process, you may already know some of this information. Although there are several components and people involved in integrating the radio to intercom bridge to an existing system and portable radio network, once the information is gathered, it's simply a matter of programming each piece to talk to each other. The purpose of the radio to intercom bridge is to create an additional layer of security and communication for those times when quick and clear communication is needed for a campus or facility. Thank you for considering Rytron and the radio to intercom bridge as a tool in your overall communication strategy. We are honored by your interest and we're committed to your success. For more information on Rytron and our purpose-built Made in America radio products, please log on to Rytron.com or email us at Rytron at Rytron.com or call us at 1-800-872-1872.